Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we are working in Customizer and we're going to work on a little bit of monogramming. I'd like to say that I'm working in Customizer but you'll be able to do all that I'm doing with the monograms in Creator and Digitizer. So monogramming it goes for all three levels of the program. So let's get started why don't we? Let's click on monogramming and when you click on it um, you have so many options it's absolutely incredible you can do um, a whole bunch of things with it ornaments borders you can pick ones that are already done let's scan through them you know the the letters are already pre set up to you know typical monograms I like these ones the slanted ones and these ones that's very typical and the overlapping and you can go ahead and change the fonts these are just done with block fonts but if you were to take this one style 09 for example and add a real Really cool ESA font to it that would give it a whole different look now these ones are already set up so they're pre-designed and let's just call one up here so the outside of it is called a border these little squiggly thingies are called ornaments and they're really versatile there's tons to choose from that come built in with hatch and you can put these ornaments in quite a few different places to get different looks now this one for example has two different ornaments on it and different lettering and a nice shape around it this one as well has the ornaments this way and reversed so reversed from the corners let's look at another one really nice shape i can see a lot of these shapes on uh, towels i like this one with curvy i think that's neat but you could scroll all the way down how about a heart one with a little butterfly um, with a stylized butterfly I think I'm not really sure there um, but there's so many built-in ones to choose from it's hard to even you know decide which one you want but flip through the letterings at the bottom so let's click on borders the first one was borders and ornaments and this is just borders so this is the border plus the lettering and they're all pretty much the same minus but you still have to you know flip through them it's kind of cool and simple so the simple is just the lettering so let's go on your tabs here so under monogramming let's go these are the designs let's go to the borders and this may look a little confusing but this is how you set them up and it's really kind of cool we can delete this one so it deleted the border exactly like I asked it to and let's go to add and you have all these shapes to do oh let's do this one so you just click on it and go okay and that is a really groovy shape it happens to fit with this ornament and this lettering but you can change the line type single run triple run because triple runs kind of cool single run make it small why not uh, 3d satin is really really thick satin I think it goes over it three times not necessarily for the towel that I'm doing but you can also fill it with one click isn't that cool you can't really do satin because that's going to be way too big and look terrible uh, motif really just one click and you have a uh, motif let's go under advance and you can change stuff around we're not going to do that so we have our border which is actually filled in right now so and I'm liking it it's pretty cool I'd probably do another one over it but let's just leave it for now why don't we add some ornaments so the one we have here is uh number 16 so let's delete that guy and let's go to add again from let's do from design oh no which is one that i've made so let's add from motif so look at all of these that you can do you can if you're really clever you can come up with some fantastic designs just by using what's available in hatch i can see this one was that stylized butterfly thing it's just that and that put together that's pretty clever hearts if you want to look at it in true view just click on the true view i like that a little bit better 
so I can see what I'm doing. But let's just pick one. It's probably not going to go with what I'm going with. But I want to show you how to maneuver them around and delete them. You don't need to bring up and in um, and in Customizer, you don't have a resequence tab. But you don't actually need it because we can do so much just in this monogramming the whole part of it. So I just picked one. It's it's not going to fit, but you know what? That's okay. Where did it go? Because it's green. And we can talk placement. So all you have to do, click on the bottom. Let's bring this out here. I clicked on this part with an arrow and a line. And you can set up how they go. Like again, I, I told you it wouldn't it wouldn't match. But look, this one you can tell by the white and the black. It's rotated and rotated and rotated and it's on four corners. This one is big in the back and it's not really big because <laughs> it's a small one. It's right there. Put it on each side. So you really have a lot of things you can do with it. Leave one there. Um, it doesn't really show because it's the same color, but that's okay. Um, we probably can't do it from here, but we can change the color. So that's how you move, add, delete, and simply play with ornaments. The next tab here are, are letters, and we can select the letters. We can select, no, he stays there. So with the letters, you click on it, and it's A, B, C. So let's do D, M, E, and it's going to change. Oh, we didn't like my M. Let's put that back in there then. Maybe I hit it too hard. And that already looks pretty cool. Obviously, this doesn't go with, but I was just playing. But already, all your letters are completely set up. Let's try this. And it resizes and it does everything for you. So you really don't need your resequence tab for working in monograms. And there's so many choices, again, of what you can do. See, I kind of like that one, too. I like it. Not necessarily the colors, mind you, and that one. So designs already preset and click on uh, borders and ornaments. And they're already preset and you can play around with them. Change your lettering. Add change ornaments. So have it selected. Delete or add another one. You don't just have to have one ornament. You can add a whole different one from motif. And let's just pick something like this, just random. So you don't just have to have one, um, one ornament. You can have more than one. You can have five. And see how it's numbered like that? It's awesome. And uh, change your border around. You can play around with it. And that is how you work with monogramming here inside Hatch Customizer software. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.